Hey guys. Monday. You know what time that is? Here's a coffee. Here's a camera. It's coffee time with Cobra. Cue the intro. <laughs> Oh, that was a good sip. Good morning, guys. How you been? Doing good? You doing good? Well, I've been better. I can't complain. Where does one begin? Uh, I have been... dealing with some mental health issues of late. Um... I've lost absolute all joy in doing anything. I was supposed to go see my mother. Uh, in fact, if I can get some finances together, I will hop on a train and go see her tomorrow and come back maybe Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not sure yet. But um, things are looking pretty bleak here in the UK. Uh, now, I'm not racist at all. I'm not homophobic at all. I'm none of these ists and isms and whatever people like to throw around today it's like for some reason why why do you people on the left seem to think he who throws out nazi first is the winner you're not same as he who shouts the loudest is the winner you're not um so please stop all right just just stop you look like a complete tit um argue with someone on their merits then we can discuss. Otherwise, just just stop. Seriously, just stop. You look like a complete idiot. Um. Oh no! Wait, I can't go Wednesday. I'm going. I've got therapy on Wednesday. Oh, I'll figure it out. And um. So yeah, I'm getting back into painting, three D printing. I found a um, Liliana um, burst. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Liliana of the Veil, um, Magic the Gathering fan, player, whatever you want to call me. I just like my Liliana. She's my sweetheart. Um, there you go. Liliana. Death's Majesty. Uh, I've got a couple of Lilies now. I want to own every copy of Lily, not every copy in existence, but one of each that's been printed, or at least four, a player set of each has been printed. Um, the reason being is because, again, I'm just a huge fan of Liliana. Um, I've always been a fan of more of the female heroes in Magic the Gathering. Um, in Urza's, was it Legacy? I had um, Phage, Corona, um, then... There was a Chroma, Jessica, and then there's Kamal, Eldamari. Oh, Eldamari. It's the one I haven't bought yet. I need to get me a couple of copies of Eldamari. Before I come around the deck. Let me have a heart attack and see how expensive he is. Seventy quid. Seventy quid for El Damari. Bruh. Seventy fucking quid for Eldam. You are up in the night, mate. Oh, I'm I'm fucking livid now. Cause that means my elf deck was at least fucking Jesus. And of course, my stupid fucking extra in the way. Stupid fucking slag. Oh my god. Oh, I need an Irish up with coffee. Jesus. Um, 
my Instagram is, my Instagram account has not been officially banned. Uh, didn't say anything wrong or controversial. I watched a two minute video of a woman in America at a school board meeting where she was in the middle of, of her time and she was interrupted by the chairman or the board chairman or something like that and he denied her her constitutional rights to freedom of speech then demanded that a sheriff violently escort her off the property which the sheriff actually complied with you nazi goose stepping to it um grabbed her by her arm used pain compliance on her as if she was a suspect in something and dragged her off in front of her 10 year old child my advice was lawyer up and get ready to sue everyone because they've blatantly broken so many of your constitutional fucking amendments. Not even your constitution rights. It's not even funny. And yet Instagram flagged that for hate speech and bullying. Yet you won't deal with the bots. You won't deal with the, sp the, 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 the porn. You won't deal with a whole bunch of other stuff because probably Mark Zuckerberg's in some sort of room standing there playing with his little one inch mushroom i mean so my account got suspended for 180 days i could appeal but if i appeal and my appeal is denied they will ban my account so of course i naturally appeal because i'm like i haven't bullied i'm sorry when is giving someone advice bullying so they said we looked at it in, literally, literally, the moment I hit appeal, so we looked at it and no, you, you, you're banned. I'm like, can I have a human look at it, please? It, this is the problem when you get so fucking big, Zucker, Zucker turd, okay? And I'm going to call you Sucker turd. Every time you get so fucking big, no matter what company you are, which, by the way, Meta should be broken up. They're, they're just as bad as Google. Meta should be broken up as well. Okay? I said it. You should be broken up as well. Also, restricting someone's speech is a form of publishing. Therefore, ergo, you've just lost 220 protections. And if I can get enough people together, we could pretty much do a class action lawsuit against Sucker Turd. And the thing is, I don't want my account back. You cannot give me back my account. Doesn't mean shit to me. Because I'm done with you farming me for information, identity, and fucking Christ knows what else, and giving it to advertisers. I am no longer your product. Okay? End of. In fact, I've even given everyone on my Facebook 30 days to try and get a hold of me for either email or text message or various other means because I'm deleting my Facebook too. So, I'm done with Meta. I will go over to Rumble, I will go over to other alt tech, um, and I suggest other people do the same. If you want to be treated with, 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 with respect and kindness, you need to show people that you are fucking absolutely positively, without a shadow of a doubt, done with people's bullshit okay you literally need to put your foot down and say enough is enough but a lot of people won't do that and it's a shame it really is a shame and Does it hurt me? No. If my family wants to get a hold of me, they, they know how to get a hold of me. They can, they've got my phone number, numbers, I've got several, I've got two phone numbers. They want, they can text me. Oh, they can Skype me, they can WhatsApp me, they can, they can get a hold of me in various different ways. They can get a hold of me in so many different ways. I don't need Facebook. 
when you when you truly sit down and ask yourself what is it that i need okay what is it that i need you will find and i'm not even joking about this you will find that there's a lot of things on this planet that you don't need you are just conditioned to want it like facebook think about it back in the time back in the day and i say this because it really was quite a few years ago british telecom a company that's probably not even around anymore um had a little slogan saying it's good to talk the reason why they say that is because they wanted you to pick up the phone so they could charge you pennies per minute to talk to someone they were psycho psychologically conditioning you to pick up the phone and call someone that's what advertisers do advertisers are manipulators and some of the best advertisers you don't even know that they are manipulating you like if i said ba -da -ba -ba -ba, you know exactly what company i'm talking about i don't even have to say their name you just know it through the jingle or i say always oh, you're gonna say columbia marching powder columbia marching powder you see what i'm saying again jingles programmed our brain this is why they call brain worms not necessarily actual brain worms but you get what's like earworms like certain songs you can't get out of your head there's a reason why rhythmically and everything evolves around frequencies and rhythmics you got to understand rhythmically all songs are either one of three ryth rhythmics that's it one of three technically four but one of three all genres of music run off of three slow medium fast that's it all the drums are identical you can take if you if you take drumming from a metallica song and drumming from a blues song and put them side by side you'll notice that they they're almost identical yeah granted rhythmically one is going two two one one two two one one two two one one and one is going one three four one two three one three four one two three one three four one two three you see what i'm saying it's still a rhythm okay it's still a rhythm so you're being pre-programmed musically to want something that's why jingles exist for songs and companies and various other things but you don't realize it because you don't know okay this is why i buy buy products with companies that don't have jingles because they're not looking to, to to have you as a infinite repeat business customer and that's another thing sometimes and i'm sorry but if you want jobs to stay in your country, find the businesses, literally find them, and then find them, i.e. You, 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 you say, hey, look, you, you, you're being fined X amount. Okay, find them and find them for anyone that exports any material overseas to be remanufactured or reproduced. So case in point, there are car companies, I'm not going to say their names, but there's car companies around the world that will take their parts that they stamp in their factories and take those parts and then send them off to China or Mexico or Canada to be assembled and then pay to have them imported back in because it's cheaper that way apparently well this is what you do you make it so it's no longer cheaper that way you find them for gross tonnage Call it a carbon tax, call it an idiot tax, call it gainful employment tax, call it whatever, you can call it whatever you want, okay? Guarantee fucking tell you, the amount of companies that are going to start putting more people into work will go through the roof. And another thing. This is for all you climate activists. Do you know what planetary cooling and heating is? No, you don't. And because you don't, you're a fucking moron. Every planet, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, even the moon, 
every planet goes through a heating and cooling cycle. Every fucking planet, including the sun. That's why there's solar flares. That's why if you actually do manage to look at the surface of the sun, you will actually see what's known as calcified lava forms. What they are is actual physical land that you can land on. Not that you'd ever would because you burn up before you get to it. But point is, if you could manage to absorb the heat or control the heat in some way, which you can't, and you landed, you'd land on a solid surface. All that is is the slag. If you're a smelter or work in metals, you know what I'm talking about. When you melt certain metals, uh, a carbon buildup, debris, you know, uh, uh, impurities will rise to the surface, harden, and become a surface. That happens to the sun too, you know. Well, anyway, planets like Earth and Mars and the Moon and Jupiter and Uranus, you yeah, giggle all you want. Sorry, it's still a planet. Harden and cool. The only one it doesn't, I believe, is Jupiter because it's a gas giant. Now, that doesn't mean that the gas giant, the, 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 the gases may not go through a similar cycle. I don't know that off the top of my head. However, Earth has gone through several major heating and coolings. Okay, several. One of which was a mass extinction event. Now, if we keep pulling the carbon out of the uh, out it, the, 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 the the carbon is it monoxide or dioxide the carbon dioxide sorry if we keep pulling the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere at the rate that we are we are going to kill the fucking plant life that we need to breathe you dumb fucks Do I need to spell it out for you? Plants use carbon dioxide, as well as several other key ingredients and nutrients to create oxygen. You know, <laughs> the stuff that you need to breathe. You fucking morons. So. In order for plants to stay green, we need to stop pulling it out of the air atmosphere, which means we need to go back to doing certain things, okay? And it's great having solar panels and all that shit if you want your world to look like one great big reflective mirror. Do you don't remember the problem when in the 80s and the 90s where every fucking house had that god-awful ugly sky satellite dish? outside and people would complain and say it is fucking god awfully ugly well imagine what that would be like if everyone's roofs had fucking solar panels on them you fucking stupid prats you're literally doing the 90s all over again did you not fucking learn no you didn't also and i cannot stress this wind turbines are not ethically fucking sound let me explain in order for a wind turbine to work you need oil also wind turbines kill more birds than a nuclear power plant strip mining for your lithium batteries that go in your phone that go in your laptop or your tablet. Tablet. Laptop. That go into your electronic devices, including your fucking electric car. Put out more pollution in its production and then throughout its lifetime than a single internal combustion engine. Try me. Look at the science. And I'm not just talking about your science. Look at the whole of the science. Both the science has been brought up for the pro side and the con side. Put them together. 
and you will see that I am fucking right. You are a hypocrite. Electric vehicles are a fad. They have always been a fad. They will always be a fad. And I'll explain why. How do you think roads are paid for? Taxes. On what? Your car. On what else? Your license. On what else? The insurance. So when you own a car, you're paying out multiple times over for the same privilege of owning a car. Of driving it on a road. Okay? So you get rid of internal combustion engines. You force everyone to drive electric cars. Where the fuck do you think your electricity comes from? And if you say the wall, I am going to punch you. I'm going to remove your ability to vote. I'm going to remove your ability to fucking think. And then I'm going to drag you to fucking kindergarten school. I'm going to sit you down and I'm going to explain to you where the fucking electric comes from. You mong. The electricity comes from a carbon source. Whether it be a coal power plant, a nuclear power plant. Mm, you fucking fat dick. Mm. Seriously. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. Educate yourself. But I'm an accountant. That doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean shit. It means you're ignorant. Because the more intelligent you think you are, the less you want to learn. When was the last time you actually took up an, a, a night class and something? Cooking, anything, origami, doesn't fucking matter. When was the last time that you pushed yourself mentally? Oh, 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 you haven't? You didn't? Wonder fucking why. Maybe it's because you think you're the smartest person in the room. Guess what? You're not. You're not the smartest person in the room. Even if you are the only person in that room, you're not the smartest person in that room. You're the dumbest. You fucking morons. And then, when you take said electric car, it's a mechanic. The mechanic charges you £40,000 just for the battery and then charges you an additional 15 to 20 a thousand a pounds to install it good luck you fucking morons electric vehicles are a scam they are yes you get four wheels, you get four electric motors, you get a glorified fucking golf cart. But it can go 0 to 60 in 2.2 seconds. Yeah, okay. And you want to know it goes faster? A bullet. Is there an electric bullet? No. So, oh, but it's a status thing. So you, you're the moron that would rather pay £400, yeah, for, I don't know, this, this Gucci hanky, rather than me going to a, to, to, to a fast food restaurant and grabbing a handful and coming out going, oh, look, I'm a fucking trillionaire then, ain't I? Fucking moron. Why are you paying brands to get free advertising? You're the sort of morons that fall for that fucking bullshit scam of fucking Nigerian prince shit. You think I'm joking? I'm not. At the end of the day, and I cannot stress this, people, I cannot stress this at all. Please, please, if you know someone who has an electric vehicle, tell them to sell it. Get out from it. Get away from it. Sell it for what they can. Buy a cheap little fucking economy 1.1, 1.2 litre fucking car. 
don't care what it is just to get it from a to b they will be a lot more happy there's a lot more easier maintenance and working on it and everything else and when you take it to a garage to have any kind of work done on it, you can't do it yourself which by the way i always educate tell people to educate themselves on how to repair their vehicle buy an owner's manual seriously buy a, buy a haynes repair manual for your vehicle learn learn to do it yourself you will save so much fucking money and you will be learning a skill okay but at the same time you won't have to rewire your entire house to have a single plug outlet that any more with an electric vehicle can just come up and go unplug your car plug their car in and that's not theft that's a civil matter, according to the police. No, motherfucker. That ain't no civil matter. See, this is why... I... I cannot stress this enough to people. Please, for the love of God, for your own fucking mental health. If you, if you are or you know someone who has an electric vehicle, help them. They need professional help. They need to get out from under that cult. And it is a cult. Don't get me wrong, Elon. I love you, dude. You do great for the world. You really do. You try. And that's amazing. Trying is amazing. And I mean that. Trying is absolutely amazing. And I thank you for that. I do. But even you've got to admit, it is not cost effective. It's just not. I mean, you still haven't m met your cyber truck or your cyber semi. Why are people buying cyber semis? You're going to spend more time at a charge station than anywhere else. And if that battery gets overcharged or discharged too rapidly or any fucking thing like that and you fuck up that battery pack good luck getting it fucking fixed especially if you're an owner operator of your own trailer good luck refinancing five houses you don't own just to get the repair work on it let alone the tires good luck good luck and i mean that what's next fucking uh, tesla tractors and and, and and whatnot for farming equipment don't don't give them ideas, Dan. Don't give them fucking ideas. Don't give them fucking ideas. Long story short, love you all. My coffee is done now. My video is done.